Well, Hawaii has always been a popular vacation spot for families, from whale watching to learning the culture, stargazing, or soaking in the sun poolside. And we're talking with the family entourage live from Maui with some fun ways to ensure a fantastic trip. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> Kelly, Mei Ling, how are you two doing? Aloha, Brad. We're doing fantastic. So, okay, first of all, I got to say thank you for the gifts that you sent me. Uh, but I'm just a little upset because um, you could have just sent me a plane ticket and I could have just come there and did this with you, uh, you know? We, we have to bring you, you know, some of the feels and entice you out. I like it. All right, let's get into this because this is a great time where, you know, everyone's been thinking about coming to Hawaii. So they're wondering what they can do. And I love that we're going to go into whale watching. That is amazing over there, isn't it? So right now is whale watching season. It goes through early May, and it's it's amazing, Brad. 10,000 humpback whales migrate from Alaska and the North Pacific, and they just put on this spectacular show off the shores of Kanapali Beach. Now, literally, if you are just walking on the sand, you can see these guys breaching, you know, tail slapping, or if you happen to be staying in one of the three miles stretch on Kanapali Beach with like an oceanfront room, you can sit on your balcony and you can see them. But of course, I knew you needed some good video up close. So we boarded the Terralani catamaran and we got to go out in the middle of the ocean with you. They were just plain. I, I've never seen a whale breach and we saw a handful on that. Day. I mean, I shot the video and it, it's just so incredible to see. The kids were super excited it reinvigorated, you know, their love for conservation and so forth. And it, it just was a really spectacular time. They just looked so happy. You know, the, the locals here in Kanapali call it whale soup because they just <laughs> say that it's such a fun and playful time. Oh, my God. So that's awesome. I love looking at this. This is so incredible. All right, let's talk about the culture life because that's one thing that I think when you go to Hawaii that they really want you to do is get involved, not so much stay at the hotels, which is great always, but get out there and see the culture life and they make it possible for you. Yes. So, Brad, you know, wherever you travel, it's so important to learn about the culture, whether it's visiting a historical landmark or doing an activity. And Hawaii is no exception. They have some of the best cultural activities they can do nowhere else in the world. So we learn how to make flower lays. We learn how to play the ukulele. We even learn the importance of the coconut, right, and how they take coconut leaves and they make them into beautiful different things i just we made the kids made a fish out of out of the palms they took a palm and made it into the fish um but what's great is that Go oh on. the lay yes so we made the lay so we you learn how to string the lay and then we learn how to string sorry string the flowers and then what's great is you not only learn how to do it but the significance behind it right so when someone gives you a lay it means friendship family, love. So it takes on a whole new meaning when someone gives you a lay, right? And then the best part, Brad, is that we watched a fire knife demonstration. And let me tell you, we have a whole new level of appreciation for the people at the luau's. So we learned how to twirl the fire knives. Let me turn it on. This is the real one. They wouldn't let us do it with the real fire, um, especially the kids, right? So we learned some of the moves. Then when we're watching the luau, we went to the Drums of the Pacific luau at the Hyatt Regency. The kids were mesmerized because they're like, I know how to do that move. And then, the, of course, the experts do like 500 other amazing moves, you know, on their feet, swallowing the fire, um, which we didn't do. <laughs> but again, taking that opportunity to immerse yourself in the culture and the people teaching the classes. It was beautiful. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. I have my lay right here that I'm going to open up and put on along with you as you if you have it right there. So I saw you guys sent this into me, which is yes. beautiful. And, and I love that you can learn how to do these. You have all this. Look at this. This is so amazing and beautiful that I, I have here, which I love. This is awesome. So it looks fantastic on you. And there's the, the meaning and technique behind every type of lay that's done. Yeah, this is all OK. Something that's also awesome uh, out there, and I, I mean, I know we get it here in the desert, you guys get it there in San Diego, but not like in Hawaii, and that's the stargazing, am I right? Absolutely. So you might initially think uh, Maui is great for golfing and snorkeling, but it's only 20 degrees north of the equator and they get these crystal clear skies. If you think back, Brad, that's what uh, the early Polynesians were guided to the Hawaiian Islands through the stars. And so what's so cool is there's a program here called Tour of the Stars. Eddie Mahoney is the director of astronomy at the Hyatt Regency and a NASA ambassador. And he was fantastic. He took the kids up nine stories to the rooftop and it's 
home to the only recreational telescope in the islands. And last night we went up, we saw Venus, we saw Saturn, we saw uh, Uranus. Like, it's just amazing. The planets, the nebulae. It was such a great thing. And he made it so fun for the kids and for us that it was a really, you know, kind of cosmic experience. And, and the thing is, it's, it's relatively inexpensive. It just starts at like $15. Yeah. Or you can literally, with your plain eye, spot Orion's belt. Oh, I love that. What was the last planet you said you guys saw? What was it? <laughs> Uranus. He, he taught us how to pronounce yes, it. Yes, he taught us how to pronounce it. Uranus. <laughs> Don't make me say it again, Brad. Don't make me say it again. <laughs> Like our boys. Exactly. <laughs> I, on the, on the, I want, that's why I should be on this trip. All right, we're wrapping it up. So very quickly, uh, the vacation vibes. We know that spring breaks go on everything, and it's, it's actually pretty easy to get over there. It's almost now like you can pretty much walk to the airport, uh, not walk, but, you know, get to the airport, go to the gate, and grab a ticket really quick. Yeah, and what's great, Brad, is, of course, you have the beautiful ocean and lots of fun things to do. But there's also, you know, if you need a break from the from the ocean and swimming and snorkeling, um, you can also go to Whaler's Village, which has oceanfront shopping and dining. We had an opportunity to have a beautiful meal as a family together at Hula Grill. Um, they have, they source their fish locally and source their vegetables with the local farmers. We're watching the sunset. We're listening to live music, you know, having a drink, too. Um, but it was a great place. So highly recommend um, if people have the opportunity to come out to Kanapali Beach to come on out. I, I love it. And I got to say thank you to the sandals that you sent over to me. So I'm going to oh, get right yes. to the, the beach yes. mood and uh, get that going. There they are. So I'm yes. excited. Everything right here for us. All right, family entourage, ladies, tell them where they can find out more information, of course, uh, and find out about you two. Yeah, just head to familyentourage.com. We have links to everything to make it super easy for you to um, navigate your next trip out to Maui. I love it. Okay. I know everyone at home is probably going, that's a backdrop. They're probably like in a, you know, their basement or somewhere. Can you walk out? Can you just, both of you just, is, are you, are you tethered? Yeah. Are you, can you I might like, need to unmic. Yeah, I can walk. See. Might lose the mic. I'm not as good as you on the ukulele, Brad. I got, I got, a, I got a mic. Maybe I'll go take a stand. Okay. Unmic and go jump in the pool. Tell her to jump in the pool. Tell her to jump in the pool. There we go. All right. It's a, it's a cliff. It's a cliff off there. Uh, oh, okay. So, ladies, thank you very. <laughs> That's it right there.